I'm Mr. Grinler. And I'm Mrs. Grinler. And, and this is Grinler's Creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Grindler's Creatures. But on today's episode, we're going to be showing something that we teased last week. And it's something we haven't done on this channel in quite some time. And that is a tarantula pairing video. So let's kick it off with some footage. The Samapoas amernia, commonly known as the Venezuelan sun tiger, an arboreal species of tarantula. And as much as they may look old world, they were in fact a new world tarantula. But this is a pairing that I've put off for quite some time now. And that's because me and this female here have some history together. I won't go into it a great deal as on my last video I gave a little recap. But I'll show you a tiny tiny bit of footage for anyone who missed last week's video. So this female started off in a fallout themed enclosure. Quite ironic considering the new series just dropped on Amazon and if you haven't watched it you gotta watch it because honestly me and Charlotte 100% recommend and you know I'm a massive Fallout fan. We ended up pairing her for the very first time. Down the line though she didn't end up dropping. Many months later she got rehoused into a tarantula room enclosure and we ended up getting our hands on another mature male, so we thought, let's try it again. And this time, we had much more luck. Although, the male did end up getting munched, so, yeah. But even though he was munched, she produced an egg sac for us. What we didn't know was this egg sac was mainly bad. Out of the whole sac, we only had three survive, and all the rest, well, the eggs just didn't develop in the end. We incubated them, and uh, yeah, it just, it, it didn't work. It was absolutely gutting, but we decided we didn't want to try her again for now. Well, until now actually. So uh, luckily for us, Craig and Becky sent over a male. So with that being said, I think it's time to delve into this footage. Enjoy it guys. With both lids off the tank, it was time to think about getting the male in. We wasn't 100% sure if we should just, you know, nudge the male up the enclosure and into the other, or if we should use the trusty tarantula room catch tube. In our eyes, we thought the catch tube was going to be the easy option, so we picked that.
Was it the easier option though? We don't know, but it sure felt like we were trying to get him out of that tube for some time. In the end, just pointing it down like this made it so much easier. So yeah, note to self for next time. I think we was both very nervous at this point, you know, more so Charlotte because she's the one actually hands on it. But we both had a positive attitude that this was going to work out. Now you might be asking yourself, why did we think this? And well, the answer is all down to the fact that the male and the female was tapping. It eliminates the worry that the female is just going to pounce on him. Now it was just about monitoring their behaviour together and see what happens next. With them interacting much more and getting closer we knew it was a matter of time before they do the deed. Or either that or, you know, death for them.
Now from what we could see, mainly Charlotte as you know she was on the other side, she reckons that he did do the deed. And looking back, I think she might be right. So we decided to keep him in for a bit longer just to see if they'll interact a little bit more. So we was thinking, is he trying to get away here? Or is he trying to get into a better position? And well, it looks like he was trying to get in a better position. So this is when the nerves hit in massively. Just look at the size of her fangs out on display. Well, that's enough to terrify anyone. And that is the end of the pairing guys. Now we had a bit of trouble getting them back in. Well actually it was more getting her back in. The male was quite easy, just went straight in the catch tube and it went straight into the enclosure. As for the female, she decided to have a little wonder about uh, across the rehouse table until we actually managed to get her back into her enclosure. But we will be trying this female once again, so I'll probably try it once again. And then later on down the line, I'm gonna try it with another female within our collection. And uh, if that male survives, after that, it's probably going to go over to Dean because Dean's got an adult female on top. So fingers crossed this male makes it free.
when we pair it again i'm not actually sure if i'll probably show the footage because i've recently just showed this one um so i might just add it into like a little update video down the line but i think that sort of wraps the video up here guys so if you could like comment and share that would be absolutely great don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when we upload next don't forget down in the description there's a link for our link tree it's got all our social medias on there It'd be greatly appreciated if you go check that out but mr grinler's down here mrs grinler's not here today so i'll say bye on our behalf and i'll say bye from all our creatures have a great week guys you'll deserve it peace